I hate these days. Look outside. But what I do like is getting uh, Amazon boxes. And I think it's what I've been waiting for to complete. There you go, the taillight. Two LEDs, taillight uh, light bulbs, LEDs that would accommodate the blacked out, the dark smoked taillight plastic. <laughs> So we're gonna put Tim on the bike. I don't think today, maybe we're putting it on tomorrow. You'll see this tomorrow. And complete the blackout of uh, the behind of my bike. All right guys, good morning. Remember that uh, tail light, the red tail light that I was gonna replace and I was waiting for the part. Finally got the tail light and the light bulb wasn't fitting. The light bulb was too, too big. Yesterday I got from Amazon Anyway, just got yesterday uh, the two bulbs. I'm going to put them in and finish up, wrap up this, this whole taillight blackout saga. Hey guys, just before we st even start, before I pull out the bike, please do me a favor. Go to my channel and uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that beautiful subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications every time a new video uh, drops. Oops, I think it's good enough. Did I break the camera? I'm gonna finish up this whole thing. This is what it looks like before, and it should look delicious after. So let's get the stuff and the tools needed. Here's the taillight itself. Uh, one of you guys actually asked me what was the part number, so I'll put it down by the description where I picked it up. I think I got it at Revzilla. That's it, let's get into the job. You know, before I even start the job, one of you guys actually in the comments uh, asked like, I'm scratching my head, why didn't you just buy the CVO and get it over with all these upgrades? Well, actually this whole Harley uh, journey for me, this whole Harley experience is, it's not only the final product, you know, the, the bike itself, how beautiful it is. It's, it's, it's actually the journey, you know, this, this, I enjoy all these upgrades, the installs. I learn about my bike. I get to know my bike, to, to familiarize myself with the bike, all the bolts, the pieces, the small parts, the upgrades. I find a lot of joy with the actual build itself, with the actual, you know, upgrades. Of course, I could uh, go ahead and buy the, the top model, CVO. It's all ready made, beautiful bike, beautiful, beautiful. But it's not personalized to the way I like it. Like I, I like I like the process. I like the, the progress. I like the build. It's not about the destination. It's it's the journey. It's the journey uh, that I'm enjoying. The journey of building this bike to my liking. I'm I'm just. You can actually see uh, two three years ago before I had this bike. I actually bought a 1980 BMW R65. In, in terrible condition and for a year and a half I was rebuilding it uh, as a bobber and actually you can see the videos right here the whole process of, of fixing it up myself and doing the job and working on it was so enjoyable so enjoyable a year and a half of enjoyment some kind of like a therapy for me so really enjoyed the whole process so as I've tried before these are the two lights, uh, light options. Gonna check which one of them is uh, brighter. They're, they're both pretty much the same design. The size difference. <laughs> Okay, now you see why it doesn't fit. It's definitely smaller as you've seen. And I'm 100% sure it's gonna fit. This uh, piece of plastic doesn't come with these uh, bolts. So we need to take these bolts out and use those. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes it fits. Happiness, happiness. Actually, they're identical. 
They're identical. I'm just gonna go with the cheaper one. Two items selling for a $5 difference, identical. Probably the same manufacturer. One puts a little cardboard box. The other one is just a plastic bag. $5 more, silly. Yes, but to, to reuse them, hold this little, little washer and unscrew. And then the whole, the plastic washer comes out. There you go. Let's put it in. Now let's put it in. And that's it. Easy as that. There's nice, nice seal over here with the all around, so it's watertight, and it came out really, really nice. Let me pull the bike back a little bit so I'm in the shade. You can actually see the colors, uh, the light, the light itself. Yeah, we're good over here. Yeah. Let's take a look. Take a look uh, how it looks now. What do you say? What do you guys say? I think it looks really, really nice. No traces of red in the back, everything blacked out. Really, really nice. Now let's try it out. Look from here, really nice. I like it, nice and bright. Truth be said, I don't think it's as bright as my previous light. Well, obviously we had way more LED elements in it, but it's bright enough and we'll check it out at night and I'll tell you how bright it is. I really like the look. accomplished achieved the blackout look that I wanted tail light as you can see really 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 beautiful in my eyes tell me what you guys think thank you so much for watching if you want to watch more of these videos these types of videos go ahead and click that subscribe button make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications every time I put out a new video hope you enjoyed this video appreciate if I get a little thumbs up over here and stay tuned for the next video from Holy Shift, I'm Sandy. Peace out.